Hello there, this is Tertio2002, and as promised, I bring you the rank climb game that I won, and I actually forgot to activate my microphone, so I didn't, uh, I'm not doing this live. As you can see, this is the replay of the match that I won, playing as Arthas. When I look at my team, we got Sylvanas, Lily, Muradin, Zeratul, and me, Arthas. So we've got two tanks, plus a healer. Zeratul who is a DPS, and Sylvanas is going to help us put some lanes. Enemy team has Illidan, Raina, Jaina, ETC, and Tassada. So they've got three heavy damage dealers, one tank, and Tassada, who's going to be supporting. Although he's not a pure healer, he does give some nice big shields. So, my idea in this game was to play Arthas as tanky as possible. The first talent I picked was Regeneration Master, which we can see here, which I uh, consider the superior option when it comes to a tanky Arthas. You want to be recovering health like really fast, so you want to stack up on those health globes. As you can see, we're three in the middle, and I mean in the top lane, with Sylvanas and Lily. We're pushing this lane really hard, while the enemy team down here is doing the same in the bottom lane. But Muradin and Sarat will hold the line very effectively. ETC disputing the vision in the center of the map. And I'm going to keep laning try and get that XP advantage. I'm being focused by Illidan and Rainer, but I try to be careful and not lose as much HP as possible. Now for the mines. The mines are really critical in this map. I'm gonna ask top or bot mine. Nobody is gonna answer me, so I'm gonna take the decision of actually going down and helping my teammates in this team fight here and we'll go to the bottom mine okay we're pressuring the enemy team in the bottom lane which makes them retreat to the mines they're all going together Lily, Seratul and me we get into the mines but the enemy team comes separately inside and we're gonna pick them off Which I think is a very bad decision on their part. Just look at how uh, disorganized the enemy team is. We just killed the... Who did we kill? The... Who did we kill? Oh, Illidan. We killed their Illidan. Well, meanwhile, we're picking up as much skulls as possible. I'm going to try and interrupt ETC from gathering the skulls here. And I think I'll take him down with a death coil. There we go. And steal all the skulls. Rainer is asking for trouble. As for the second talent that I picked, which I haven't picked yet. Because I'm concentrated. There we go. Destruction. Which is going to damage the boost. I mean, it's going to boost the damage of Frostman Hungers by 150% damage. Which, it's a skill that we're going to be using the whole game. There was no actual tankier talent, so that's the one I picked. Because Arthas, even though he's a warrior, he's not a pure, pure tank. He can, uh, he can be specced for quite a lot of damage as well. Anyway, we take down the enemy Jaina. Taking down enemy teammates really easily. Pretty disorganized team fight going on. I managed to take down Illidan with a death coil there. Now, uh, Lily and me were a bit of trouble. We're being focused down by the enemy team. I'm trying to take him down uh, Tassada because I already knew I was going to die, so at least deal some damage before going down. Lily will be able to escape, fortunately. Or no, she won't. Or she will. 
She will escape. And with this, we're controlling the mines. Although the enemy Jaina comes down, she's going to attack on her own the, uh, the Grave Golem. Not a very wise move, especially when the uh, when we're going to come down to interrupt. The enemy team, very hurt. Jaina and ETC, low on health. They're going to get ganked now. Or creep jacked. And uh, ETC almost going down. Giant is dead. ETC holding on as he can, protected by Tacitus shields. Inident trying to escape. We're making the enemy team flee, and we got the Grave Golem all for us. The fight keeps going on in the northern part of the mines. Lily almost going down. But she survives. Illidan. Illidan might go down. Now he escapes. And we uh, dedicate ourselves to t try and take down ETC and Reyna. I'm being focused heavily. Okay, Tassadar. Damaged. The whole enemy team is damaged. They're in a very bad position right now. So the best they can do is run. Reyna goes down. And this is when we focus on the Grave Golem. As we now possess Dominion over the mines. Meanwhile, Sylvanas is in trouble here. She's getting attacked by ETC and Tassadar. But she decides to run away, which is a good decision. There we go. Even though we control the mines, the enemy did get more skulls than us. But that will be the only time in the whole game that they'll get more skulls. So we're back to pushing the lane. Trying to get as much XP as possible. Trying to get Arthas to level 10. Well, our whole team to level 10. We've got a curious fight up here. Sylvanas, she's going down. And I'm left alone. So I'm not doing much up here. Just trying to stall the enemy and get that XP. We're both level 8 now. Sylvanas complaining of big lag. Here comes Moradin, who's getting in trouble. Okay, and now the enemies here on the top lane, they're going to focus down on the Grave Golem, which is good. Enemy Grave Golem attacking our door here. This is the moment where we have to try and disrupt the enemy team who is attacking the Golem. Do as much damage as possible. As for talents now, I got Rune Tap. Which is every third basic attack kills you for 3% of your max health. Very important talent for a tanky Arthas. It's almost always a must have. Okay, I'm getting in trouble there. And I'm going down. I overdid it there. But we did cause a nice amount of damage in the enemy fort. Moradin should retreat here, he's not doing anything, he's only going to get himself killed. Lily is in trouble. Okay, I just revived. I'm going to go to the bottom lane to help push. But nope. This is when I start uh, pinging everybody to go top because the whole enemy team is at top. Problem is, nobody listened to me. So we had to fight three versus five here. But we were lucky and we actually damaged the enemy by a lot. We already reached level 10 and the Arthur's heroic that I pick is Army of the Dead. Those ghouls are very important. 
to keep Arthur's alive because you actually sacrifice them, you re you recover a very big bit of HP. So now I've got my super tanky Arthur's taking as much much damage as possible. We're trying to hold the line. The enemy is relentless. Illidan made a uh, very risky move there, but he manages to get out alive. The enemy is right at the at the fort now. We're trying to push them back. And the mines are about to open. Illidan in danger. He's getting focused down, but he manages to escape easily. But no, he's been killed. Fine. Anyway, I'm uh, telling my teammates to all enter the mines through the top. Go ring of uh, frost of Jaina there. And Lily's heroic is keeping us alive. Meanwhile, I did a dick move, which is going on my own to the mines to get those skulls. I think it wasn't that much of a dick move, because while my teammates here are uh, fighting in a fair fight, 3 versus 3, I can go down to the mines and get some skulls. And we get an advantage over the enemy. So my whole team now goes down to the mines. And we start splitting up to get those skulls, which is not a good idea to split up in these mines, but... Uh, this time it came out as a good idea. Now, Sylvanas is going to die easily because she gets focused down by the whole enemy team. But our team is going to reunite now. They're coming from the northern part. Here comes Morden to help me out. And now this is where the fight gets interesting because it's 4 versus 3. We take out Reina out easily. And Tassadar. Down they go. Now we're chasing down ETC, who is also going to go down pretty easily. We've got much more skulls than the enemy. And with the whole enemy team wiped out, we're going to take the opportunity to take down the Grave Golem. Well, not before killing, trying to chase down Illidan and Jaina. Jaina having some trouble getting away, but she does. Illidan goes away, seeing that he can die if he stays down there, so we're gonna focus down the Grave Golem, get the rest of the Skulls. There we go. Meanwhile, uh, Zeratul and Sylvanas trying to uh, entertain our enemies in the top lane, but they go down to the mines and they're going to creep jack us. This is a dangerous situation for us, very dangerous. In fact, Muradin, our Muradin is dead, Jaina gets a Ring of Frost on us, I'm being focused heavily, I go down, the enemy does take down the Grave Golem, but they don't have enough skulls to get the better Golem than us. Lily's going to go down unfortunately, but we do have the better Grave Golem and it's time for our team to get out of the mines. Muradin revives. I arrive in two, one, there I go. Now I'm actually going to tell my teammates, I think it's at this part, I'm going to tell them to go down, first we should defend against the enemy golem which is weaker, the sooner we kill the enemy golem, the sooner we can go and support our golem. Very important to take down the enemy golem first, always take it down first, because that way we know, we know that the enemy is going to be occupied with our golem, which is stronger. So, we know it's going to take them longer than us to actually take it down. But nobody comes down to help me, only Lily, but Lily is not a damage dealer, so it's up to me to actually take it down. Our teammates, though, are doing a pretty good job of entertaining the enemy, but not good enough. Muradin is dead. Zeratul trying to focus down Reyna. Here comes Sylvanas. 
I'm peeing like crazy so for my teammates to come down and help us with a great golem. As you can see there by the chat, come and defend first guys. Help golem later. But no. It's just Arthur's job to take down the golem, which I do. But we could have avoided lots of damage to our structures if our allies actually came down to help us. Well, they did take down our Grave Golem. And it's time to go back to the laning. Or pushing, sorry. I'm going top lane. Help my allies out. Lily also coming along. And for talents that we got now. Level 13 talent spell shield. Why spell shield? Because we got some heavy uh, spell users like Jaina. We also got Tassadar there. And we also got Reyna with his penetrating shot. So upon taking ability damage, reduce that damage and further ability damage by 50% for 2 seconds. Can only trigger once every 30 seconds. A great talent choice for the enemy composition. So now we've got a nice team fight going on. Thanks to Lily's Heroic, we're getting healed, which makes us almost invincible. Enemy team, very damaged. Muradin activates his Heroic. We're taking down Tassadar. Tassadar goes down with my Death Coil. Enemy towers without ammo, so I try to take it down, but the enemy team comes out to defend it. So I try to run away. My allies start supporting me. Big team fight. Trying to take down the squishy members of the enemies first, like Rain and Jaina. ETC is in the way to protect them. We get Ring of Frost out of Jaina. Jaina going down. Rainer being focused, but he goes away. We just broken down the door for the keep. Enemy team trying to coordinate and take us down. Sylvanas in danger, but I get in the way and intercede. I'm being focused down really heavily. And uh, Muradin comes in, try and soak some damage with me. But we're not dealing nearly as enough damage. Lily's Heroic goes off again, healing us crazy. But unfortunately, the rest of our teammates have abandoned us, going back to base. Muradin goes down. Lily will probably go down now, so I have to get out of here. I really have to get out of here, and surprisingly, I do survive. I do survive long enough. Made a epic escape there on my mount. So I'm going to go down to the mines, which I think is the better option for me to get away. I'm trying to heal myself as crazy, getting away from the enemy, and this is going to be my doom. This is where I'm going to go down. But at least I have entertained the enemy enough for my allies to get as many skulls in the mines as possible. We're ahead 44 skulls from them. Well, no, it looks like that. I'm getting away. No. Yeah, this is... This definitely... I definitely go down here. But it was a great uh, survival last stand that I did there. Our Zeratul is in a bad position there. You should get out of there. Too many enemies. Our team is all dead, unfortunately. Except for Muradin and Seratul. Enemy team going for the Great Golem. And we're all going to creepjack them. Let's see what happens. Muradin goes into his avatar form. Starts attacking like crazy, but he hasn't got enough DPS to take down that Tassadar. Seratul does take him down though. And here comes Seratul and Lily at the same time. Try and focus down the weakened enemy heroes. I warn my teammates not to go separately into the mines to fight. Either way, the enemies do take down the Grave Golem. And they get equal number of scores as us, so we got an equal strength Grave Golem. So I ping my allies again. Let's see if this time they listen to me. So we have to defend against the enemy golem first. And there we go. They actually start listening to me. And we're all going to focus on the enemy grave golem. 
So I'm going to try and take it down as fast as possible while our Grave Golem is taking down the enemy keep. Also starting to be focused by ETC and Tassadar. Now, as for talent choices, the next one I put up is Immortal Coil, which makes improves my Death Coil to heal uh, on. Uh, well, I'll just read the description. Okay, Death Coil also heals when used on enemies, and when used on myself, the amount healed is increased by 50%. So it's very good for a tanky Arthur's like me, which I'm using uh, most of the time in the game. I'm using the Death Coil to heal myself not to attack. I only use the death coil to attack if I see that an enemy which is low in health is getting away and I snipe him out with a death coil as you've seen uh, several times in this game. But mainly for tanky Arthur's death coil is better to heal yourself. So that's why I get the improved coil which is gonna make our healing much more better. And the enemy team get some bruiser mercenaries and we start pushing down the bottom fort Enemies keep going for mercenaries, and we keep pushing. We're one level ahead of them, almost two. We're gonna try and get that XP here from the tower. We're pushing heavily now. Enemy team is all separated at the moment, though some of them are teleporting back to help defend. But just two of them won't be enough to help defend this. We're taking down the keep really fast. Here are the enemy team, Jaina, ETC, trying to push, but they can't do that on their own. The enemy team needs to come all together to defend, or this will be their doom. Lily's heroic, very awesome heroic. Helps us to keep us alive in team fights. Incredible. We take down the enemy Rainer, take down the towers, get that XP. We've got a big XP advantage right now. The mines are going to open, but we're not going. We're just going to ignore them because we're at the final stages of the game. So there we go, taking down the enemy. But we see that the enemy team is hurting us a lot, so we make the decision to call off a retreat and not ignore the mines. We're going to go back into the mines and get those skulls. So, I actually take the initiative here. And I say mines now and then push. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to get the golem. The biggest golem we can get. Zeratul is taking a risky uh, attack there. He did manage to kill Jaina. So now we're going to... We're going to take the advantage now that the enemy team is completely wiped out. Take all the skulls as possible. Enemy team reviving little by little. And they're going to do a big mistake, a big mistake that many players do in this game, which is going on their own to fight the enemy team. Like, we've got an example here with Illidan. Both Illidan and Reyna are going to get their asses kicked. Because they're going to have to fight the whole team here. Never, ever go fight the enemy team outnumbered because you're not doing your team a favor you understand in fact you're gonna die you're gonna take another whole minute to revive and you're gonna make the game even more complicated for you and your team so we're gonna concentrate on the grave golem now which we're gonna take down really fast enemy team just doesn't really care anymore they're just gonna try and push and lane if they can they're going to ignore us in the mines because they already know that we're going to have the superior golem. we got all the skulls. So the great golem is down. Golem's growing. And now we're going to push and help our big great golem now to take down the rest of the enemy defenses. Oh, and as for the level 20 talent, I picked up Hardened Shield, which is an activation skill. That reduces damage taken for, by 75% for 4 seconds. Really great for Arthur's when he's getting focused down heavily. Oh, and um, enemy team is pushing down the bottom lane, but not with much success. 
Lily and uh, myself were helping defend it. When I chase down these uh, ETC and Gina. While the rest of the team up here is going to push and help the Grave Golem. Meanwhile down here. We're going to try and take down ETC. Which if I'm not mistaken I do take him down. With a nice death coil there as you can see. And now we're going to help our teammates. Well no. Well, 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 well. No. I'm going back with Sylvanas. To defend our core from the Grave Golem. The rest of the team pushing the core. There we go, this is the final push. The enemy core already receiving critical damage. Now Sylvanas and myself were going to help out our team at the core. But the game is practically won at this stage. And the enemy team has been dominated. And that's it. It's GG. That's for stats. These are the stats right here. That's after I did a nice amount of uh, siege damage. And a pretty good amount of hero damage for being a tanky tank. So, not bad for my Arthur's play there. Well, and that was the victory that I recorded the other day. And I couldn't upload it because I lost all the narration to it. But I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something from this. So, if you liked the video, just press that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. This is Tertio22. See you next time.